everybody. My name is Richard Evans. I'm with Caliber Yacht Sales and today we're going to show you a Alibat 455 Omni. This is an amazing vessel fully constructed out of aluminum and can take you anywhere in the world. In fact, this boat has been two-thirds the way around the world already, starting in France and ending up here in Vancouver. Come on aboard. I want to show you what this boat's all about. You're going to like it. So one of the things that uh, you're first going to notice about this vessel is not only the very low profile uh, and very sleek lines and the uh, wide beam, but the signature Alubat radar arch at the stern. Uh, this uh, radar arch is not only very attractive, but it's uh, also highly functional. It keeps your dinghy well off the water, uh, which is especially useful in a following sea. If you look below, look at that massive sugar scoop stern there. Isn't that amazing? This allows you for ease of boarding uh, in any environment. It does come with uh, a gangplank that uh, will connect with the dock if you want to do a med tie. And this boat has done many of those med ties in the Mediterranean. Uh, look just above uh, where the life raft is uh, stored. That's uh, an eight person capacity life raft uh, which comes with the boat and that's only one of the many many extras. So lots of solid hardware in this vessel um, and uh, designed for great convenience. Now the mainsail is uh, in good condition. By the way, it's a tri-cut radial mainsail, uh, which allows uh, most of the power to be generated at the center of the sail, which gives this uh, boat a lot more energy. The uh, mainsail is also attached to uh, back cars, so very easy to raise. And when you drop, it drops straight into the sail bag very quickly and easily. Notice the uh, guards here, uh, safety guards, so that uh, when you're tacking, it just makes it easier for the uh, head sail to come around uh, and also acts as a brace for safety. Uh, chafe guards on each of the uh, shrouds. And uh, before we leave this area, I wanted uh, to point out the running backstays here. When they're uh, deployed, it uh, helps to stabilize the mast. Uh, but when you're not using them, you bring them forward and it gives you all of this open space back here. And it's a good design. Now forward, up here in the bow. Now this boat is built, built very solidly uh, for safety. Not just safety, but for performance as well. And we'll talk uh, a little bit more about the construction. But up here, I want to share with you that on the bottom of this boat, the hull of the boat on the bottom is flat. And it has a, a dagger board that is hydraulically lifted that, you know, to give it stability when under sail. But the bottom being uh, flat allows you to beach the boat in parts of the world where their marine lifts aren't easily available. So literally, you can drive the boat up onto a beach and let the tide go out and it will sit flat on the beach uh, without any concern or damage. The bottom of this boat is almost half an inch of solid aluminum. Uh, that's uh, pretty substantial when you think about it. Not only uh, have they considered that as part of their safety features, but up here it has a crash box. So if you were to hit something in the bow uh, below the water line, uh, the, it's designed to crumple and not allow water into the rest of the boat. Beautiful, beautiful feature. Uh, makes people feel much more comfortable when they're out on the open ocean and sometimes with uh, things like uh, containers floating around. Uh, notice that the gypsy is sitting almost flush with the deck, so it's going to save on crunched toes when you're moving around up here. The uh, ground tackle includes a spade anchor. Uh, which uh, has over 300 feet of chain. Uh, when the uh, full chain and uh, uh, ground tackle is deployed, you're looking at over 100 kilograms, over 100 kilograms of weight on the bottom of the ocean holding this boat in place. And as you can see here, both head sills are furling. Makes it very easy. These lines run back to the cockpit. So again, single handing is quite a, uh, quite a breeze. So clearly, as you can see, with a, a 110 Genoa, as well as the staysail here, you're able to select the correct sail for your weather conditions, and it just makes life so much easier. 
So this uh, boat is designed uh, for offshore, but it's also designed for, for performance uh, with the uh, Genoa having a 70 square meters of sail area and the Stasel with 29 square meters of sail area and uh, your total sail plan being 110 square meters. That's, that's pretty awesome. But I want to point out that when we're out today in 17 knots of wind, we hit 8.5 knots just with the staysail in the main. Pretty amazing, eh? Come on back to the cockpit. I want to show you some more things. So look at all the hatches here, including the opening hatches to let on all that natural light into the salon below. That's beautiful, isn't it? Now here is a great arrangement. Uh, the sail bag covers up very nicely without uh, using a zipper, but it actually has these clips, which uh, works much, much better. So, so much easier to do up and undo. And lazy jacks, of course, uh, these lazy jacks will guide the mainsail straight into the sail bag when you uh, drop the halyard. Back here, notice that we have the traveler uh, with the lines going aft into the cockpit. And of course, this beautiful Dodger with a bimini that overlaps the Dodger so that when we get splashed by a wave, uh, we don't really get wet. Now just look how massive this cockpit is. Teak grid in the floor, stadium seats that they picked up in Japan that just fit perfectly here. Isn't this nice? Well, we've got four stadium seats right here and room for four more in this cockpit. Mm, just comfortable and uh, well designed. The helm is well aft so it doesn't block off uh, the rest of the cockpit and the utility of it. Now look at this hardware. We've got 255 Harkins here, 244 Harkins after that, and of course your halyard winch right here. Over here, we've got a folding wheel uh, to allow access, easy access for people coming off their dinghy through the uh, sugar scoop. Up top, I love the way they've designed this. This Dodger is huge and it comes well aft with the bimini going well over it by at least a foot. That bimini is six feet, six inches high. While we're up here, he's got LED lighting to light up the cockpit and more lighting aft uh, to light up the helm station. So notice the uh, wheel here that we have that's uh, a folding wheel, which uh, makes things very convenient. At the helm station, uh, you'll notice this bracket that uh, holds an iPad or a similar device. Uh, everything on this boat is NEMA compliant, meaning that all of your devices talk with each other. Everything talks together. At the helm station, you've got uh, your remote windlass uh, to deploy your anchor. A bow thruster, and now the bow thruster is cool. Um, the bow thruster is retractable, so when you're under sail, you can pull it up into the hull, and then when you're coming into port and when you need it, uh, you can uh, deploy it. Just uh, to the left of that is uh, these uh, red button, a black button here. This is to deploy your dagger board, which uh, uh, takes the board that's amidships uh, down uh, through the keel. Uh, it is a dagger board as opposed to a drop keel, and it uh, will increase your draft from three feet to about seven feet, almost seven feet. Uh, so that's nice to have, and that's one of the advantages of this boat is that uh, it can get into very shallow water. And again, let me point out, because of that flat bottom, uh, she will sit in the sand or in the mud with uh, no problem whatsoever. Now, if you thought this was pretty cool, just wait till you see below. Huge space here, guys. Just look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's a very, very beamy boat. And with this kind of a beam, you get all of the space here and it's, uh, and it's beautifully done. This Burmese teak is finished in a satin finish. And it wonderfully reflects the natural light coming in through the hatches and um, lots of prep space, and this inline galley. 
You've got a gimbal stove and a, uh, a fridge, a top load fridge, which is really what you want when you're offshore. Um, and all of this, all of the space to move around in and work. Great storage in below here. Double stainless steel sinks and storage in behind. Isn't that beautiful? And I want you to notice um, the construction of this Burmese teak here, how they've cut everything out of one piece of wood so all the grains match up. Ah, yeah, this is, this is beautiful, just beautiful. Here on the starboard side, just aft of the galley, is uh, your day head with an opening hatch, marine toilet, and a shower with a wraparound curtain. So in here, in the settee, we have uh, nine house batteries. That's 900 amp hours of house battery, which is phenomenal. And these are very special batteries. They're backup power batteries that you would see in a, a cell tower, for example. The, uh, they're guaranteed for 15 years, and they were just installed two years ago. So that's a, that's a nice bonus. There's also an engine start battery and a bow thruster battery as well. So a total of 11 batteries. Underneath here, under this uh, beautiful teak and holly floor, uh, we have a full freshwater system. Pump is there, the filters are there, everything is there. So easy to get to. And wow, look at this settee. Isn't this gorgeous? Again, this beautiful Burmese teak with storage below. By the way, this is a three cabin boat, but this also converts into uh, a double bunk. And uh, the cushions are uh, provided as well. So if you have those extra, extra guests, this is where you would have them sleep. This is an amazing space. I'm just sitting here and I'm, I'm feeling warmth of this wood, this beautiful wood, beautiful finishing and all of this natural light that just pours in through these hatches. Shows very well with all this natural light. Now over here, uh, we have our nav station. And I won't go through all of the de details of this. Uh, it's all outlined in the spec sheet. But the one thing that I will tell you is that everything in the space is NEMA compliant. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the vessel comes with a ship computer. And that too interfaces with everything within this space. All of the devices, the Wi-Fi, uh, the VHF, the AIS, all of it talks to each other. So you have the latest state-of-the-art equipment, two years old, everything that you need to navigate comfortably and confidently and safely. Now in behind here, we have one of the aft cabins, uh, it's a three cabin boat. Uh, it'll sleep two more here as we talked about earlier. And each of these aft cabins has an opening hatch uh, for ventilation, a door that closes off for privacy, uh, a good size double bunk and uh, lockers, plenty of storage all around. I like the wainscoting on the side as well. That gives it a nice, comfortable, warm feeling. So one step down in behind here, very convenient to the table is your wine cellar. I like that. Room for lots of wine. Forward. Uh, we have your master space. It's uh, so big and roomy. And, but you know what's really nice? It's this Burmese teak. I just yeah, I can't get over it. It just has that wonderful warm feeling about it. And all these, uh, the, well, the quality of the finishing is spectacular. And you're going to see that for yourself when you come aboard. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about what we have here. Uh, we've got uh, door ads, of course, uh, on both port and starboard side that uh, bring in fresh air. But in, in addition to that, we have two opening hatches, port and starboard side. Here on the uh, port side, we've got a large double bunk uh, with uh, reading lights and bookshelves uh, above the bed and along the side of the hall. And uh, also a very expansive uh, bookshelf for, for knickknacks or whatever else that you would like. Forward of that is another locker. And cross aisle, uh, we've got a bank of five drawers, loads of storage here. Aft of the drawers, we've got a large locker here that you can put bulk items in. And look at this, eh? After that is uh, we've got a washing machine. Nice to have aboard. Okay, so forward, we've got a hang up locker. A shelf above. And forward of that, we've got your ensuite. Now in your ensuite, uh, you've got a marine toilet. 
you've got a beautiful heat grid on the bottom uh, that's very comfortable to stand on when you're having a shower. And uh, the, the water is contained with a wraparound uh, shower curtain. And just across from that, you've got uh, a sink and uh, a nice uh, area for your sink counter. Uh, underneath this mattress is that uh, we've got the uh, dagger board that rises into this, this plexiglass uh, cover on the top, you can actually visually see when the dagger board is down or it's up. Speaking of the dagger board, uh, there is a manual override. It's hydraulically driven, but there is a manual overriding. Wow, isn't that beautiful? What an amazing layout. Really good flow in this boat. Beamy, lots of space, all this natural light and, and this wood. It just gives you that real warm, comfortable, homey feeling. Whether you're going for a weekend cruise or if you're continuing around the world as this boat's been doing, you're going to love this boat. So there you go, folks. Just a beautiful offshore vessel. You saw the performance in the video. You've seen the luxurious comfort down below, the strength of this beautiful boat, and it can be yours. Give us a call today. You'll be glad you did.